What is up guys, DZ here, and today I wanted to do a deck profile of a deck that is probably way long overdue. Um, a lot of people asked for Super Quantum Volcanics right when Wing Raiders came out. Um, I wasn't really a huge fan of them then, but it's kind of the Yu-Gi-Oh! offseason right now. Um, Locals is pretty much the only event that anyone's really going to. I know there's like a Yu-Gi-Oh! day this weekend or something. Um, but it's pretty casual for the next couple weeks. I know the new set is coming out, but people really won't know what the meta is for a couple um, weeks now, maybe even a little over a month. So this is just a fun deck. Uh, but it's actually pretty good. I've played it on now three live streams. I've done pretty successful on all of them. I wrote an article about it, um, and I wanted to profile it. I've been waiting to get the build the way I want it to. Um, I think this is definitely like the best version right now, and it's a lot of fun. It can actually beat the meta pretty... I don't want to say pretty easily. Yeah, pretty easily, but not pretty consistently. It's not the most consistent deck in the world, um, but I, I try to make it as consistent as possible, because once it gets going, it's really hard to beat. Um, but basically, all the cards in here are... Um, designed to either uh, draw you to your combo pieces, um, search your combo pieces, or um, recycle cards um, other than like the co combo pieces themselves. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it then. Uh, so we're playing three Rocket, definitely like the best level four um, volcanic. Actually, it's like the best, pretty much the best volcanic. Uh, great attack, great stats, um, as far as being level four pyro. Um, good for shuffling back with Firestone Guards if you draw a bad hand, um, but Rocket's just a good standalone card, um, and it's one of the cards that you want to open um, as your normal summon. We're also playing 3 Shell. Um, this card serves a lot of purposes. Obviously it's Reload Fodder, but it's also fodder for uh, the field spell for Super Quantum, so that's really cool. Um, just with one Shell you can upgrade uh, three uh, Super Quantums to their Exceed Monsters, which is just really awesome. Um, we're also playing 3 Scattershot just to blow up the field. Um, and then we're playing two fires from guards. Uh, so this shuffles back the volcanics, obviously it shuffles back itself, um, digs for your combo pieces, gets your stuff recycled. Um, and also this shuffles back Garnet. We are playing Brilliant Fusion. Um, it's just way too good in stuck not to play. It's really just like a win condition. Um, so yeah, fires from guards can shuffle back the Garnet, which is really great, honestly. Um, we're also playing the Super Quantums. 3 Elfan, definitely the one that you want to open, just like Rocket. Um, we're going to play 3 of it. Uh, it's the one that, I mean, it's if you trigger all the effects, it's just like crazy. Um, it just gets you going, so definitely got to play 3 of that guy. Um, we're also playing 2 of each of the different ones. So we're playing 2 Red Layer, 2 Green Layer, and 2 Blue Layer. I think this is the best ratios. In my testing, the only one that I've ever found I wanted 3 of or to see like more of is the Red Layer. It's never like a matter of like do I want more copies of it? Because, like, Blue Layer shuffles everything back. Um, it's more just, like, do I want to see it more often? You really don't want to open either of these two, um, by themselves, at least. But Whereas Red Layer is, like, pretty good if you open it by itself. So that's the only one that I'd probably play three of. But I think right now, the three Elfan and the two of all of them is the best ratio that I've found. But feel free to mix it up if you want to. Um, we're also just playing a Garnet and a Trick Clown. The Trick Clown is like super important in this deck. I normally wouldn't play this, like, I'd just play the Brilliant Fusion or whatever. But uh, Trick Clown is just super good because it puts a level 4 monster on your field, which makes making Great Magnus with more material um, a lot easier. So, yeah. You only need the one Garnet because you can shuffle back with Fire Summer Goods. We're also playing 3 Brilliant Fusion. Um, obviously, like one of my favorite cards in the game. Probably just going to keep playing this in decks until something happens to it in the ban list. But uh, yeah, just a fantastic card. Uh, I bumped up to three instant fusion. I was playing three twin twisters instead of uh, the third instant fusion, but I think instant fusions is better. Um, when you're going first, you really just want to open like instant fusion or e telly or brilliant fusion, um, any of those cards, or if you have multiples of those, you can usually usually make great Magnus pretty easily. So yeah, I think that's the right way to go. Um, we're also playing two of the field spell and two terraforming. Um, you can just shuffle this back with blue lay if you really want to, but really the reason we're doing this is that if uh, it's better to draw a terraforming than it is this because it takes um, a card out of your deck instead of just being the field spell, um, so it prevents you from like drawing like multiples. Because if you have like a, a terraforming and like these three left in deck, when you activate the terraforming, it takes this one out. So now you only have like uh, two bad draws in your deck left. Um, whereas if these, if all three of these uh, were like um, or, like, if you had, a uh, three field spell and one terraforming, and you drew, like, this thing that would be a terraforming, but it's a field spell, now you have three bad draws in your deck, so you really want to just see the first field spell. It is good to not have to search it, but you don't want to see the, you don't want to see the multiples, and you don't want to see it after the first one, so I think playing the two and two is the most consistent ratio. We're also playing two Twin Disturbs and two e 
Quick play spells are good. Um, yeah, e Tally is really powerful. It's almost an auto win when you open it. Even, I don't know. I don't want to say even more so than like Brilliant Fusion, but in some cases, yeah, it's better to draw e Tally than Brilliant Fusion. It's just way too good. Um, and then Twin Hurtsters, I don't know. If you, I would definitely side the third, obviously, but I think two in the main is fine. Because a lot of, the, when you go, when you play the stack and you win the dire, well, you want to go first. So opening Twin Hurtsters is just not very good when you're going first. Um, and then just one up Star Goblin. We want to play a 39 card deck because we really wanted to see our combo pieces as early and often as possible. Um, the only traps are reloads. Uh, you could play strikes if you wanted to. You could play warning. I, I was playing warning for a little while, but honestly, once you set up the Great Magnus, it doesn't really matter what you have. You can just uh, do whatever you want. And the reload um, is really the only trap you want to see in like the hands where you draw like all combo pieces. You don't just you want to. You don't just want to draw trap cards. It's just not very good. Um, so yeah. For the extra deck, we're playing one of each of the Super Quantums. I think this is the right way to go. Um, once you summon Magnus, you usually win anyway. But uh, you can shuffle all these back with Blue Layer. I don't think it's ever... So the only time it would come up when you needed multiples is when they negate your Blue Layer, which they never do, or uh, when you if you like need to summon two of them at the same time. Um, but that really never happens. The only one... No, I, I honestly can't say there's ever been a time where I needed to summon two of these at the same time. Like, I guess two of these would be fine against, like, Pendulums, and, like, two of this is fine against Monarchs, and two of this is fine against BA. Um, but really, you only need one of each. Uh, if your hand is, like, good enough to make, like, two of these, like, you can probably just, like, make a different rank four. Or dif you can just make, like, a different rank four or five, and it'll still be, like, the same result. Uh, we're also playing one Emerald. This shuffles back the things that Firestorm Guards and Blue Layer can't. Namely, when I when I summon this, I'm almost always shuffling back a Seraph Knight, a Trick Clown, and then just any random third card. Because um, those, those, those are the main cards you can't recover. Actually, yeah, those are the only cards. Only monsters you can't recover are Extra Deck Monsters, Trick Clown, and uh, Seraphonite. Well, I guess Seraphonite's an Extra Deck Monster, but you get the point. Um, so yeah, Emerald's really important for shuffling those back. Playing one Castell, one Dweller, and one Giant Hand. Um, I think these are necessary. I don't know how I feel with this one. Uh, you can play like a Rufflesia and play like a Bottomless in your deck. Um, I just don't want to draw the Bottomless ever. It's really bad. Um... You get, this, I'm not playing Utopia of the Lightning. I don't think there's room. Um, I don't know. Like I'll show you the rank 5. So we're playing uh, Durandal, Volgosaurus, and uh, Guy Dragon. So if you want to play Lightning, I would say cut these two. I think these two are the most cuttable. Um, I think you need to keep the Volgosaurus in because there were a bunch of times that I lost on the stream because I didn't have it. And you absolutely need to keep the Durandal in because if you open like Red Layer and instant fusion or brilliant fusion like you definitely want to make the durandal if your hand's bad so i think these two are the most cuttable these two are all or these four are all unnecessary are all unnecessary no it sounded like it said one whatever um for the instant fusion targets we're playing dragoness norden and panzer these are just the best in their classes um panzer is only relevant rank or level five fusion uh this fusion doesn't actually matter because you can never attack with it um and then Norden's obviously just the best, probably, fusion monster to get with that. Um, and then just one Seraphonite. Uh, even though you can shuffle back the Garnet with the Firestorm Guards, usually you can also just make an Emerald to shuffle this back. Um, I just... I felt like every time that I could resolve a second Brilliant Fusion, I could make an Emerald before I did, so I never felt like the need to play two of these. Um, I don't know. If it really comes up for you, you can probably take out, like, the Giant Hand or the Guy Dragon if you want to. Um, but yeah, that was uh, Super Quantum Volcanics. I think they are a lot of fun. Um, there's so many cool interactions in this deck that you find out when you like start to play it. Um, but I've had a lot of fun with it, and I'll probably play it more and probably be another deck profile later. But I will check you guys later.